squirrel. That is squirrel. Okay, so we're here at Valens and uh, it's winter. And I'm gonna make a Quincy sleep here. Try the squirrel. Oh, look. Looks like chicken almost. How's it taste? Really good, actually. Like, really good. Alright? No, I'm good. Thank right? you. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> Something about city squirrels. It's funny how, I guess, yeah, I guess it makes sense what they eat. It does with deer and stuff, so too, like, uh, It does, it has a slight lamb deer flavor. And, like, goat fed deer. It's totally different. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd eat squirrel every day. Not actually fried chicken. Yeah, don't eat it. Here. It's my bed. Yeah. Oh, 
my stuff here. My pillow, still a sleeping bag. My other sleeping bag is in this garbage bag, which I will open up, throw in there, and then put my other sleeping bag inside that. I might do that now. <laughs> There's ice in my water. It's minus 15 right now. Wind chill is minus 21. I'm making hot chocolate. Good there, mate. Yeah. Mm. Hot chocolate. Warm me up before bed. There's some water left in my jet boil over there. Uh, I've thrown a tea bag in, so I can have a hot tea right before bed too. Mm. I need to get my gloves back on though. <laughs> my fingers are getting a little numb. So. It's also the temperature now is if you leave like regular liquid in this, like if you put water in this, it freezes quite fast. Mm. Okay, gloves. half-ass so it really didn't fit too well in here so I took out part of the ceiling no. that pillow we're still good no fire Kind of see the moon. So I literally just poured this, like I just poured this out of that <laughs> into there and it's already got a layer of ice on it. <laughs> oh, let's try to get a fire going again. It's kind of going. So that was different. Uh, really should have brought a bigger shovel. So my Quincy turned into more of just a fort. 
that wasn't very good. Uh, it was actually quite hard to get into once because I tested it just myself, but once I put uh, my mat, my inflatable mat and uh, or pad, whatever you want to call it, and my uh, suit bags in there, uh, it was extremely hard to move. <laughs> um, so actually at one point uh, at the night I, w I went over because uh, Kevin and Chris, they had, uh, they've converted a ice hut, a uh, portable ice hut into a hot tent. Uh, I went over there to warm up and I was going to just turn around and give up and sleep in there. And the second I tried to sleep, somebody snored too loud. Sorry, Chris, to throw you under the bus there. Now I know how my wife feels. I, he just wouldn't stop. So uh, I said, screw it. And I went back outside. Oh, I'm getting chilly over here. Um, and uh, made the best of it. So it was extremely cold. I wasn't too bad in my sleeping bag. So I couldn't get it zipped up properly. And then snow somehow got on all my stuff. It wasn't fun. It was fun still, but it also wasn't. So I know next time, well, it was strong because uh, I, I should have filmed, but I just had Kev actually walk up on top of uh, my, uh, my snow fort and uh, it held perfectly fine. Basically for what I wanted, I, it should have been at least six foot high and 10 feet wide in diameter to make a proper one. So I'm hoping to still see that this year. We don't do that. Oh, of course my battery's like dead. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need your shit. And thus we say, Goodbye to the Jeep. Nice knowing you.